You're watching First Edition, folks. Robots, rovers and other astro tech are on show at Australia's largest space industry event today. Our science and tech correspondent, Brent O'Halloran, joins us live now from the 16th Australian Space Forum. Brent, good morning. What's the purpose of this forum and what cool gadgets have you got your hands on? Well, the gadgets are still being set up, but I promise you I'll get my greasy mitts all over those rockets and satellites that I see being set up behind me. The purpose is really to show off some of the cool, some of the many cool things that Australians and Australian companies are doing in the space space. Now, the 16th <laughs> Space Forum is the largest event for the Australian space industry. 600 people are attending physically or online, including representatives from the UK and Japanese space agencies and officials from the Australian Space Agency, of course, including the boss, Enrico Palermo, who joins me live. Enrico, this is a big day, and you've got a big announcement for a big Australian lunar project. We do. Good morning, Brett. Uh, Australia has chosen, so through a public vote, uh, we're really pleased to announce today that the name of the lunar rover that Australians are going to design and build and go to the moon later this decade is called Ruva. Uh, for us, Ruva is an iconic Australian name. It talks to the Australian spirit, and it's going to be recognisable uh, internationally. And you get being queued to go to the stage. That's the noise we're hearing behind us, so I'll be quick. But basically, this lunar rover mission, how significant is it in terms of, and what sort of benefits might it bring to all Australians? It's very significant. You know, the Australian government has prioritised advancing uh, our robotics capabilities, and this is one of the most ambitious robotics projects in the nation right now. We know by investing in science and tech and missions like this, we uplift capability, we strengthen the economy, uh, we keep our brightest talent here, and importantly, we can inspire the next generation on what's possible if you pursue career and, and studies uh, in science, tech, engineering and maths. Very well said. I'll leave you to rush to the stage. Thank you very much, Enrico. Thank you. And so, Peter, it's all starting to kick off here at the 16th Space Forum, and I'm hearing word we might get news later today about potential international space collaborations, Peter. Ooh, OK, sounds good. Good tease, Brendo Halloran. Thank you.